This new custom room is quite good and amazing. We're talking about Alpha Droid based on Android 13 and officially available for a lot of devices. I'm using it in Elioth, which, which means this is Poco F3. Uh, by the way, I'm using Mi 11X. It's almost same for Redmi K40 and these devices available for many other devices. Which other things included in Alpha Droid? How about the customizations? How about the UI? Everything I'll talk about in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, as the first thing to talk about here is the default launcher. As expectedly, it is not giving you the Pixel launcher pre installed, the launcher 3 kind of things, which is available in many other custom rooms too. The quick at a glance option is there, hot seat background in the app drawer, that dock, and also some app drawer customizations available here. And their recent options are just basically same like other custom launchers, sorry, other custom rooms, and things are just almost same but this is the default launcher which is not pixel launcher by the way you have the app lock available and this is available in this default launcher by the way you will only be able to lock apps which are third party apps third party which means user apps which you have downloaded the pre-installed apps could not be locked and this is the thing to keep in mind i'm not sure if it is same in other custom rooms too but in this custom room this is what we have Moving on to the quick settings panel, if you use a light mode, you will see the light quick settings background and if you use a dark mode, you will see the dark quick settings background. This is a major thing man, by the way, in the terms of theming, a lot of great options are already included, which I will talk about later on moving on to some other quick settings panel tiles. What I found is the FPS info, that option is present, let me show you, this is here. FPS info is here, I'm not sure if this FPS info tile is available in all the custom rooms. But in Alpha Droid, this is available. So if you are a gamer, you need these things. It's present. By def by default, I think so. You will get to you will get this kind of camera pre-installed, which is available in almost other all almost all custom rooms. But the thing is, if you're using a Redmi K40, if you use Poco F3, Mi 11X, you also have the MIUI camera pre-installed. This is what we have. Let me show you which MIUI camera, which is like a variant. It's available for this device. But this MIUI camera is device specific. If your device does not have this one, I am not sure about that. But if your device have this MIUI camera pre-installed, it's good. But the virtual camera is already pre-installed and that should be included with every device. We have these customizations alphabet user interface status bar quick settings buttons lock screen notifications etc all these customization options are present by the way that app lock is present in the security settings too which is available in the default launcher one best thing about this one is that this custom lock this app lock is available in this default launcher and the security both of the both of these things the main thing is if you want to change launcher you can like in some custom homes you have the option for using the app lock on, on, on in the only default launcher so this is not in this case if you just notice the settings UI, this is changing. The first one was dot OS style. This one is a Nusantra OS style. If I'm not wrong, if you have ever used Nusantra OS, this is the style which you have. And you can customize this setting style in this user interface. Let me show you. You can see AOSP dot and NAD. This is the AOSP which is by default. This is how the UI is looking like. And you can customize those things very easily. Some other options are available like monet settings, which means you have the option to use a custom color if you don't want to use the wallpaper based theming uh, the option is available here for you it also have a lot of font options for you which are quite useful a lot of users always use custom fonts on their devices including myself i always use custom fonts mostly google sans or product sans harmony OS sans are also good these are the fonts which I use, but if you use any other, you can use that one. Comic Sans is a good one too, XO2 and else. Some icon by customizations as expectedly are just basically same. Archers, PUI, Oxygen OS, SAM, all these icon packs are available. I'm using Pavlova UI, which is you just noticed. And the icon shape, if, you, uh, if you're looking for that icon shape, which is a default one, the circular type, this is now done. As you can see, this is how the icon pack is looking like by, de by default. This is the one I was, I was using some other options. So yes, options are already present. Status bar customizations, icon 
icons which you can hide or unhide volti wo wifi icons are also there by the way some status bar padding option battery styles options logo customizations almost every customization which you need in your device already present it's available in all almost every custom room so no specific things to talk about no unique things but it's like some other custom rooms and maybe one of the other choices so if you want to use alpha droid you can options are just basically same this custom room is also having a lot of customizations here comes the quick setting element styles by the way where you have the option to customize your quick settings panel the same theming options available in rise droid available in evolution xos if i'm not wrong and a lot more custom rooms are giving you these features here are some miscellaneous options which is having one one thing let me to, uh, let me show you the game space how is the game space ui looking like if i move on to uh, this game space options let me open this game space ui once by just adding magisk into this one okay you are having this information about time we have date day battery and memory available so this is good i think so this is quite good the game space is far more better than in some other custom homes this is good a lot of extra information is included here if i move on to the safety net kind of things safety net right now is uh, not passing for everyone so that is why cts profile match is failed but it's completely okay one more thing is google services control google services and core apps and you have the option to disable this thing this is a very useful thing and it's available in a lot of custom homes too like parallel space is also one of the useful features unfortunately this feature is removed from some custom homes like evolution xos but don't worry this option is already present in alpha droid so that's good if you are one of the users who use parallel space then the option is here for you smart charging also one of my favorite feature where you can use the smart charging feature you can use a stop trigger level and start trigger level to reset the battery stats after reaching user defined charging level that's very useful thing i use this feature on my device sometimes this is something different smart cutoff which is not available in other custom homes i think so because i never Never found this thing so whenever your battery temperature reaches at certain level the temperature the electricity will automatically cut off i mean you will not be able to charge your device after that this is something different something really interesting and this is very useful other options like gestures where you have the option to hide the navigation bar hint not the ime space but other options are just basically same these were things i just want to let you know link is available in the description i hope you like this thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye